With this strategy, as with any strategy you try out, it is important to set a limit for yourself and stick to it. A line that you're not going to cross. It's very easy to chase your losses thinking that I've lost so many times in a row, there's no way that I'll lose this next one. Be in control of yourself and every bet will be a calculated decision and not a desperate donation to the casino. This strategy again uses the dozens or the columns. Pick a dozen, any dozen, and place a unit on there. I like using five because it's easy to talk through. You have a 31.6% chance of winning. If and when you lose, you're going to follow this sequence for the following bets. When you lose a bet, multiply your original bet by the next number in the sequence. Here's what it's going to look like. So we have our bet up there. One unit was going to be $5 here. And we're going to start spinning. And each number in the sequence is given to where you don't have to double it. You just have to put in enough money to make money on that next bet. So if we lose this one, which we do, uh, 7, we're going to go by the next number in the sequence, 2. So it's going to be a $10 bet. Um, So $10 bet is going to give us a little bit more winnings than if we had just made a $5 bet. But uh, it's as close as we can. You can't split up a unit and give $5.50. So we're going to give $10 on that time, which we lost. So next number is 15. And this is going to give us just, um, just barely winnings if we win it. It's what each number on this sequence is made for. And it's another loss. So next number on the sequence is a 4. So it's going to be a $20 bet. And we're going to stick with the same dozens. Don't go chasing dozens hoping for a streak of the same dozen. Just stick on the same dozen. And it'll come around to your turn eventually. Dreaded 0. No problem. Next number is 6 going to be a $30 bet. If you're keeping track, we've bet $80 up to this point. So you got to have a little bit of a bankroll in order to support a few of these losing streaks that you might have. Nine is the next sequence and uh, number in sequence. So it's going to be a $45 bet. $34 finally came around to us. That's our winnings. And you'll see we made $10 off of that one. So we're going to we're going to change it up. I like to change a dozens once you win. So you can keep it on the same one if you want to. It makes no statistical difference. But I'm going to change it. We'll put $5 on the, the middle dozen. And start the whole sequence over again. Now that you have a winning, you start back at the beginning. One unit. If you lose, then you go to the next number. So the next number being two. Going to go back to our $10 bet. That results in a 25. It's landing back on that original dozen, so it would have paid to stay there, but you never know that until after you roll. So 15 is the next bet. Here she goes. You'll notice we've lost way more times than we've won. We've only won once, and uh, we've lost, I don't know, about 10 times now so far. Uh, there's a win, so two, two out of 10, yet we still made $25 off of those two wins. So stick to the system and it'll treat you right. 
How many losses in a row you want to go depends on how much money you are willing to lose. No matter what your bankroll though, once you draw that line, show self-control and don't cross it. I usually set my limit with this system at 7 losses in a row. After that, the amount I'm putting up just doesn't really justify the risk that I'm taking. If I lose the seventh bet, I've usually made enough gains that I can still keep going without being set back. That might be high for you, it might be low for some. Find the limit that's right for you based on your available bankroll.